wrap um, with the scallop tiles with a salad and with some sparkling water and with some hard direct light kind of beaming in on the side. You can see the shape of the tiles, how architectural it is, and really how it really creates some beautiful lines and really helps you create a really interesting composition. And the hard light especially just looks, I think, phenomenal against the tiles as things reflect on it. This is the side-by-side -side comparison of the scallop tiles in the lightweight physical backdrop that is eight inches thick and the super thin and pliable backdrop. Um, they are identical in the surface and in their look. The only difference is the super thin is pliable and the eight inch thick is a lightweight yet physical backdrop. It's very easy to move around. Now, if you wanna stand this up as a fake wall behind your scene, you would need to clip it to a board of some sort. And then like this particular one, because it's thick enough, it does stand up as long as it's kind of propped up with something behind it. So you can stand it up as a fake wall as long as you have some sort of board. You can use one of our physical backdrops if you already have them. Um, or you can use another sort of foam board and stand it up behind your scene. So this is my setup for when I want to use the scallop tiles as a fake wall behind my scene as the actual backdrop. So I actually have to have it standing up long ways on the two foot wide side um, because of the composition of the tiles. So I have it standing up, propped up a little bit higher on a crate. My table isn't very high, so this helps to lift it up. You can also use a chair or something, but I find this is good because it just kind of helps to keep it straight. And then you can lean it up against the table.